We come from regions at the edge of maps, where details of the landscape are left out. Those who journey there are warned of traps. Our histories are vague and filled with doubt. We crouch in corners of cathedral towers, peering from the ledges high above, jeering at the milky, gilded saints with their songs of torment and the key of love. We gather in the margins of the page, drawn there by those minds too quick for text, cavorting in the space between the lines and looking out beyond the screen of time at what has gone before and what comes next with our piercing, wide-eyed, wild gaze. Cartographers of power fear us most. Perhaps by accident or a secret wedge, they were the ones who pushed us to the edge. To them, we are the evil demon host. To curry favor with their patron lords, they pondered and they toiled and they forged a chain of beings strung between God and earth to justify the privilege of their birth. With words of silk and blood-black ink, they braided ropes to every link to bind each living creature into place, then doled out dwindling portions of God's grace. But for themselves they kept the greatest share in sight of angels in the shining air. But we, the vast and secret multitude, who move through narrow spaces in between, traversing landscapes they have never viewed. We slip through gaps in their great chain. We are the neithers and the nors, exceptions to each rule they write. We are the maids with fishy tails who sing the doom of sailing ships, and giants standing miles high who scrape their knees on mountain peaks, the griffin, werewolf, and the king, who's neither frog nor yet a man, the mother who can only crawl as if she were a tiny babe, the boy who reads with fingertips, poets who shape words with hands, and those who have divergent minds. We are the neithers and the nors, exceptions to each rule they write. And whether shy and shifting or rudely bold, we can't be collared by their ready names. Their inky, silky fetters do not hold. They say this is our crime, that we're to blame. That we exist at all is proof enough. The world is more complex than first it seems. They claimed a single truth. And thus they lied. Their mighty chain was forged from human pride, a false conclusion and a foolish dream. But we are here, and we can call their bluff. And even as we wander city streets, along with all the rushing, bustling crowds, the questions rise in every gaze we meet, and mystery surrounds us like a cloud. We span the borders by which this world's defined, not on the globe, but rather in the mind. 